Good day, grade tens. Welcome to this next lesson in geometry, Euclidean geometry. Grade tens, we actually started this lesson last week. Um, actually, no, it was this week, Monday. And then for some reason, Skype business meeting just had a nervous breakdown and I just couldn't get back into meeting. So we're going to start again because we really just started with this question. Um, but the thing was that, okay, yeah. So let's get started with this question. It says in the diagram below, D is a midpoint of the side AB, right? And E is the midpoint of side AC. So these two are midpoints, right? And then it says D is produced to F. D E is produced to F such that D E is equal to E F. So E is also the midpoint of D F. And they tell you that CF, CF, CF is parallel to BA, the whole of that. Okay. The first thing they say is write down a reason why triangle ADE is congruent to triangle CFE. So they're not asking you to prove it. They're just asking you to explain why ADE is congruent to triangle CFE. So it's ADE is congruent to triangle CFE. And it's very easy. It's going to be side, 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 side. If you understand that DE is equal to EF, that AE equals EC, and we know that um, this thing here, ABCD, Oh no, we have to prove that at D, B, F, C, we still have to prove that. Okay, and then, okay, so then it could be, it's not going to be side, 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 because we haven't proven that yet, sorry. It is going to be side, angle, side. It's going to be side, angle, side. The reason being, it's this side is equal to that side. This side here is equal to this side. And that angle is equal to that angle because they're vertically opposite. So therefore, these two triangles are congruent, which means that this side is equal to that side. Now it says write down a reason why B, D, B, C, F is a parallelogram. So we're looking at D, B, C, F. We're looking at this here, okay? And they said give a reason. And we've just proven that these two yellow triangles are congruent. And like I said, that means that AD is equal to FC. Therefore, we can see that DB is not only parallel to FC, because we're just given, it's also equal. So therefore, we can say, just as write down a reason, it would be one pair of opposite sides parallel and equal. Okay, now it says hence prove the theorem that states that DE is half of BC. Okay, so that's actually pretty easy, but let's work through it anyway. Right, do you agree that we know that since, since uh, DB CF is a parallelogram, um, gram. We know that DF has to be equal to EF. Okay. Opposite sides. Okay. Opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides are equal. Okay. Then we know also that E point E is the midpoint. I don't know why my computer is so slow today. I don't know what's going on. Is the mid point of a DF. Therefore, DE is going to be equal to half DF which in turn is equal to half of BC. I said DF is equal to DF, which I meant to say DF is equal to, I meant to say, yeah, sorry. This was meant to say that DF was equal to BC. 
okay this side here is equal to that side because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram right let's look at the next question okay so in the next question it says in the diagram below PQRS is a parallelogram PQRS is a parallelogram okay so what do we know therefore we know and I'm going to do it in black we know that this is parallel to this and this is parallel to the whole of this and this is equal to this and this is equal to the whole of that right so we've done that it's got diagonals PR and QS QS intersected at M B is a point on PQ such that SB A Sorry, B is a point on PQ, B, B is a point on PQ, such that S, B, A, and R, Q, A, R, Q, A are straight lines, okay? And they tell us that, that's what I was looking for, sorry, that S, B is equal to B, A. So we know that those two are equal, right? S, A cuts P, R, it's C, and P A is drawn. Okay, so now what they're asking us to do is prove that S P S P is equal to Q A. Okay. Okay, let me just think about this. We know that these opposite ang opposite sides of parallelogram are not equal. Um, oh, we can do congruency. So I'm going to say in triangle SBP, SBP, and triangle, um, now watch, I went blue line, nothing opposite. So I'm going to have to do the same again. So it's blue line and nothing opposite side. So it's going to be triangle ABQ. We know that... Um, what do we know? Okay, we know that angle SBAP, angle SBP is equal to angle ABQ. Why? Because they are vertically opposite. Okay, so this angle here is equal to this angle. We also know that this side is equal to this side because it's given. So we know that SB is equal to AB, Y given. And then we also know that this angle here is going to equal to this angle here because these two lines are parallel and then these angles are alternate. So therefore we can say PSB is equal to, now remember it has to be in the same order, PSB, so it's going to be QAB is equal to QAB. Why? Because they're alternate angles. Okay. Therefore, triangle SBP is congruent to triangle ABQ. I really don't know why it's so today. Therefore, side SP has to equal, now if we do it in the same order, oh, if we're doing the same order, it's SP, so it has to be to AQ. AQ, which is what they asked us to prove. They asked us to prove that SP is equal to AQ. So therefore, we now know that this is equal to that. Now to prove that SP AQ is a parallelogram, well, that's very easy because SP is equal to QA. We've just proven it. Okay, and we know that SP is parallel to QA, Y given. Therefore, SPAQ is a parallelogram, Y, one pair of opposite sides, parallel and equal, parallel and equal. Okay, now it says prove that AR equals four times MB. So they want AR, let's get a color out, let's get red. AR. AR is four times MB. 
Okay. Right. So do you agree that M is the midpoint of PR? Okay, because they told us the diagonals of this parallelogram are intersecting at M. That means that the whole of this line here has to equal to this. So in other words, the whole of this is equal to the whole of this. Okay. Right. We also know, because we're being given, that B is the midpoint because SB is equal to BA. Um, because that was given. So let me just erase this writing I've done already. This bit here, we don't need this. Right, can you just hold on for a second? I don't go away. I'm just quickly going to see if I can't speed us up. Okay, just hang on a second. Um, don't go. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I'll do it between the next lesson. I think it might take too long. Okay, right. So let's carry on. So now we're working in this triangle here. Which triangle are we working in this triangle? Okay, so if we're working in this triangle, we've just said, we have just said, do you agree, that the PM is equal to MR, and that's because M is the bisector of the diagonals. But that means that SM has to equal to MQ as well. So SM has to equal to MQ as well. So we can say in triangle SAQ, SAQ, um, MB is parallel to AQ. And if we let MB equal X, if we let MB equal X, then AQ is going to equal to 2X. Why? Because of the midpoint theorem. Right? But now, so therefore this is 2x, okay? But do you agree, it says they want to prove it is 4 times AR is 4 times MB, okay? So do you agree that QR is equal to AR, AQ, sorry, AQ, which was proved above? Therefore, we can say that what could we say? We could say therefore that Q that AR is going to be equal to 4x because it's 2x plus 2x, which equals 4 times MB. And there you go. Proven. Right, let's look at this next example. Okay, so now it says in the diagram B, C, D, E is a parallelogram. B, C, D, E. B, C, D, E. They tell us that this is a parallelogram, right? So we know this is parallel to this and this is parallel to this. Okay, now A, O, D, E are also parallelograms. So we've got A, O, D, E, A, O, D, E, parallelograms. So this is parallel to this, and this is parallel to this. But that also means that this is equal to this, which is equal to this. Okay. Now it says prove that O, F equals A, B. Prove that O, F, let's use blue, O, F, is equal to, is parallel, it's parallel to AB. Okay. So you want to prove that OF is parallel to AB. Okay, so one way to do this is to look at the fact that I'm just seeing if I can't do this another way. Um, what are we doing? Prudent than OF. Okay, wait. B, C, D, E, the palm, and A, O, D, E. 
Um, we now need to prove that OF, oh, OF is parallel to AB. Sorry, that explains it. OF is parallel to, okay, fair enough, easy. Okay, so do you agree that O is the midpoint of O, D, Y, because it is a diagonal bisect each other in BCD. Okay. We also know that if is the midpoint of AD. And again, same reason, diagonals bisect each other. Um, and then we're talking about AODE, AODE. Um, so therefore, BA has to be parallel to OF because of the midpoint theorem. Okay, great. Tense, this is really driving me insane. So just hang in there. I won't be long. I just need to see if I can't fix this, okay? Right, I don't know if that's made any difference, but we're going to see if it might improve it a little bit. Okay, so there we go. We've proven that this is parallel to this. So therefore, we can say that this is parallel to that. Oh, it seems to be much better. Okay, so now let us say, now they want us to prove that ABOE is a parallelogram. So let's go to green and we're going to go AB, wait, ABO. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, my word. Much better. A, B, O, E is a parallelogram. Well, we know that this side is parallel to this side because we've just proven it. Um, we also know, what else do we know? We know that O, B is parallel to A, B. We knew that, know that OB is parallel to AE because that's an extension of DO. Therefore, we've got both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So let me say, in, oh dear, not so much. A, B, O, E. Hmm, it's back to being obnoxious. Um, in that quadrilateral, we agreed that AB is parallel to OF. Um, why proved um, oh, above, right? We also, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having problems with my digital bed. Okay, um, proved above, proved above. Okay, we also know that OB is parallel to AE. Um, and the reason is it's actually given 
Therefore, we know that this is parallelogram Y because you've got both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and equal. No, actually it's not, they're just parallel. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Okay, now it says, prove that, I'm running out of colors. Okay, let's do a highlighter. Prove that triangle ABO, ABO, ABO is congruent to triangle EOD. Okay, so let's look at this uh, pen. Do you agree that since this is a parallelogram, we know that AB is equal in length to OE? Okay, so we know that those two sides are equal. So we can say in the triangle ABO, ABO, and triangle, um, oh, I'm gonna go mad. And triangle EOD, D, we know that AB is equal to EO. Why given, actually, no, it proved above. Proved above. Okay. Um, I see to erase the other bit of the writing so that we can write here. Wow. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Right, so then we can also say that we know that BO equals OD because they are diagonals of the parallelogram BCDE. So we can say that BO is equal to OD. OD. Why? Because the diagonals bisect of BCDE. Okay, so we know that that now, oh, I'm really struggling today, is equal to that. And then finally, we know that this angle here is equal to this angle. And why is that? Because AB, so angle ABO, is equal to EOD and why? Because the fact that they are corresponding angles. They are corresponding angles. Okay, so therefore we can say that this triangle is congruent to that triangle and the reason would be side angle side side, angle, side. Right, finally this question, since it seems to desperately want to try and do this question. Um, what we can say, it says that in the following diagram, O is the center of the circle, okay? So they're telling us that O is the center of the circle. They're also telling us that we have got um, O1, O2, and O3 are all angles in the circle and they're all equal. Okay, um, what else? So they're saying, so let's get this, some color going in here. Hang on. And now my digital page just stopped. Oh, there it is. Okay, so they're telling us that O is the center of the circle. So do you agree that all these, all these lines, 
all of them oopsie are equal because they are radii they are radii of the circle so all of these are equal okay they also tell us that angle o1 equals o2 equals o3 then they tell us that go back to red og which we know is red is equal to hg which happens to be x so if this is x 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 and this is x okay they also tell us that of of is parallel to cd and ab is parallel to hc is parallel to fe okay now it says prove the triangle goh okay so let's use a highlighter and let's use a yellow goh goh is congruent to triangle d O C. Okay, so that's pretty easy for the simple reason that we can say, and I need a pen again. We can say in the triangle G O H, G O H, and triangle, so it's G O H, so it's going to be triangle C O D, C O D. Do you agree that O H? is equal to OD. Why? Because it's a radius, radii. We can also say that um, OG is equal to um, OC. Why? Radii. And then we know that because it's been given that O1 has to equal O3 given. Therefore, triangle GOH is congruent to triangle um, COD. Okay, so we've just proven it. Okay, so therefore that there is X as well because that's an X. Okay, now it says hence prove that OCDG is a parallelogram. OCDG. Okay, well, that's pretty easy because if you look, and we're just going to make this in green, we've got O, C, D, and G. Do you agree that we know that we have got O, G is equal to C, D? Prove it above. Okay, so O, G equals C, D proved above right we also know that OF is par oh, is parallel to CD why because it's given therefore we've got OCDG is a palm. Why? One pair of opposite sides parallel and equal. Okay, now, so we've proved that that's a parallelogram. Okay, now it says, hence, okay, hence, Using the given information, prove that triangle OGD. Okay, let's see, we've got triangle OGD. OGD, OGD is similar to triangle OFE. OF. Okay. Similarity requires angles. Okay, that's all it requires. Okay, so if you look at it, triangle, okay, wait, so let me just erase this writing here, which could take a while.
Okay. So if we look at these triangles, do you agree that they are kind of lying on top of each other? Okay. And what do we know? We know that GD, we were given that AB is parallel to HC, which in turn is parallel to FE. But we've just proven that OC is parallel to GD. Okay, so we know that OC is parallel to GE. Therefore, we know that G, GD, that's supposed to be D, GD is parallel to FE. Okay, so therefore we know that this is parallel to this. Okay, so then if we're looking at the triangles for similarity, we've got inner triangle OGD and triangle OFE. Um, o is common. Okay, angle OGD is equal to angle OFE. Why? Because they are corresponding angles. We also know that ODG is equal to, oh my word, this is just driving me insane, sorry, is equal to OEF, OEF, Y again, corresponding angles. <sighs> just a second. I have another digital pen and pad. I'm actually going to try it just a second. This is because the other one's driving me insane. Why is this not working? Oh, there it is. Okay. Go back. Get a pen out. Okay, let's try this. Corresponding angles. Oh, so it's actually not the digital pen and pad, it's actually the computer. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, it says. So we've proven that OGDE is similar to triangle OFE, and the reason would be angle, angle. Okay, that's just terrible. Okay, let's go back to the original one. Sorry. I don't know what's going on today. Sorry, guys. Okay, last try. Um, so the reason would be angle, angle, angle. So angle, this angle is common, this angle is equal to this angle, and that angle is equal to that angle. Okay, grade 10s, I'm actually going to stop the lesson now because it's driving me insane that I'm having to not be able to write properly with you guys. Um, and I will carry on with this lesson on Monday. Um, I hope you have a good day. Cheers.